नमस्कार बहुत बहुत स्वागत है गाइज आपके अपने ही चैनल के सी एस और स्पोर्ट्स ब्रेकडाउन पर गाइज तो आज गाइज हमने टूर्नामेंट का सेकेंड बेस्ट स्कोर देखने को मिला है और आज जब मैंने ये सेकेंड बेस्ट स्कोर देखा इस टूर्नामेंट का पूरे हिस्ट्री का तो एक चीज समझ में आई कि अब जो है टेस्ट टी ट्वेंटी का क्रिकेट है वो काफी बदल चुका है टी ट्वेंटी की अप्रोच बदल गई है और वो दिख रहा है एक टाइम था जब क्रिस गेल ने वो बहुत ही शानदार पारी खेली थी 175 रनों की तो और उस टाइम जब एक बड़ा सा स्कोर बना था दो रन का तब लगता था यार कितनी बड़ी बात है क्या अजूबा हो चुका है क्या वो अजूबा स्कोर है दो का जो आरसीबी ने बनाया लेकिन इस आईपीएल में अभी तक रनों की इतनी बारिश हुई है इतनी बारिश हुई है कि भाई साहब आप काउंट नहीं कर सकते चौके छक्कों की बरसात हुई है और इसका रिजल्ट आपको देखने को मिल रहा है स्कोर दो बार क्रॉस हो चुका है आरसीबी की टीम का जो हाईएस्ट स्कोर था दो दो बार क्रॉस हो चुका है और इसका कहीं ना कहीं आप ये भी कहेंगे कि पिच की भी बात है पिच भी अच्छी बनी है साथ के साथ बैटिंग का इंटेंट टी को टी में असली में बैटिंग किस तरह से करनी चाहिए वो पता लग रहा है इस आई के सीजन में असलियत में बैटिंग इसी तरह से होनी चाहिए जिस तरह से बल्लेबाजी हुई जोरदार तरीके से इस सीजन में हैदराबाद ने बनाए दो सौ सतहत्तर रन कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स ने बनाए तो ये एग्जांपल है कि एक बेस्ट टी ट्वेंटी अप्रोच क्या हो सकता है बेस्ट तरीके से कैसे खेली जा सकती है पारी वो पता लगी है इस बार सो मेरे को लगता है कि ये अपने आप में बहुत बड़ी बात और कृष्णा नायर आपको लिंक मैंने भेज दिया था आई थिंक अभी थोड़ी देर के लिए व्हाट्सएप डाउन हो गया था आई थिंक इसीलिए आपको मिली नहीं होगी थोड़ी लेट से मिलेगी क्योंकि नो भी इश्यूज आपको भेज दिए आप ज्वाइन हो जाइए ठीक है तो गाइस आज के मैच की थोड़ी बात करते हैं और मिक्स थॉट्स हैं मतलब मैं जितने लोगों से बात कर रहा हूँ लोग अलग अलग तरीके से इस मैच को देख रहे हैं बट रियलिटी क्या है इस मैच को किस तरह से देखा जाए देखिए अगर मैं देखूँ तो डेली कैपिटल्स और कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स ने कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स ने आउट प्लेड किया पूरी तरह से सबसे पहली बात गौतम गंभीर की मैं दाग देना चाहूंगा देखिए गौतम गंभीर जब थे इस टीम के साथ कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स के साथ उन्होंने जो स्टेप्स लिए सुनील नारायण को लाइसेंस देना आप जाइए आप खेलते रहिए धुआंधार पारी खेलिए आप के विकेट का कोई दिक्कत नहीं है आप जीरो बनाइए आप पंद्रह बनाइए बीस बनाइए लेकिन आप अपने मोड में खेलते रहिए हमें याद है वो सीजन मेरे को याद है दो का जब गौतम गंभीर ओपन किया करते थे सुनील नारायण के साथ तो एक बहुत ही जबरदस्त स्कोर बना था छह ओवर में 105 रन मेरे को याद है वो सीजन तो वो सीजन आया था और वो छह ओवर में 105 क्यों बना था सिर्फ और सुनील नारायण की वजह से तो आज के जो मैच के हीरो थे वो अल्टीमेटली सुनील नारायण थे सुनील नारायण ने जो पारी खेली वो अपने आप में बेस्ट है कोई भी बॉलर होता तो वो पिटता जरूर क्योंकि सुनील नारायण की जो शैली है वो यही शैली है सो so, सुनील नारायण का मैं कहूंगा देखिए बल्लेबाज तो वो शानदार है लेकिन जब गंभीर आए तभी तो ट्रस्ट हुआ इनके ऊपर अदरवाइज कौन सुनील नारायण को पूछ रहा था कोई पूछता भी नहीं था 2014 के बाद से 2023 तक के सीजन के बीच कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स स्ट्रगल करती हुई नजर आ रही थी क्यों क्योंकि वो अलग अलग ओपनिंग कॉम्बिनेशन पे चल रहे थे कभी किसी प्लेयर को पिक करते थे कभी किसी प्लेयर को पिक करते थे कभी कोई ओपनर कभी कोई ओपनर तो रिजल्ट क्या होता था कि बहुत ज्यादा सफर करते थे तो यहाँ पे गौतम गंभीर ने जो प्लान किए गौतम गंभीर की आप मैं बात करूं तो जब उन्होंने लखनऊ सुपर जाइंट्स को भी अपने साथ मेंटरशिप में थे दो बार प्ले में थे लखनऊ सुपर जाइंट्स तो ब्रिलियंस है ये गौतम गंभीर की कहीं ना कहीं मेरे साथ है कृष्णा हेलो कृष्णा कैसे हैं आप हेलो आवाज आ रही है आपको कृष्णा मेरी हेलो कुणाल भाई आवाज आ रही है हाँ जी कृष्णा कृष्णा आई गेस अभी दो से तीन मिनट के लिए व्हाट्सएप डाउन हो गया था जी जी बिल्कुल व्हाट्सएप डाउन हो गया था पता नहीं क्या हो गया था व्हाट्सएप को अरे मैं मैं लॉग इन लॉग आउट कर रहा था मैं सोचा थोड़ा लिंक उधर भेज दू फिर देखा बाद में लिंक अरे तो... नहीं मेरा भी मुझे लगा मेरा इंटरनेट खराब हो गया चेक किया तो कुछ मैसेज ही नहीं आ रहा था उसके बाद चालू हो गया मैंने स्विच ऑफ करके ऑन किया तो चालू हो गया हाँ वो दो मिनट के लिए था जो भी था चलिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है आजकल तो देखिये दो मिनट तो वैसे भी निकल जाते हैं चलिए अब मैच के बारे में बात करते हैं कृष्णा मैं ना बहुत लोगों से बात कर रहा था तो लोग ना बहुत कुछ बोल रहे थे या डेली 
उसका क्रेडिट सबसे पहले मैं गौतम गंभीर को देना चाहूंगा कृष्णा क्योंकि कृष्णा अगर मैं देखू दो हजार चौदह के बाद से दो हजार तेईस तक के जो नौ साल का जो नौ दस साल का जो सफर है 2015 से 2013 तक इस नौ साल में कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स ने कभी भी भरोसा नहीं किया सुनील नारायण को ऊपर खिलाने की गट्स गौतम गंभीर ने दिखाए गौतम गंभीर मेंटर बने खिलाया सुनील नारायण को आप जाइए आप ओपन करिए हमारे लिए कोई दिक्कत नहीं है जीरो बनाए दस बनाए पंद्रह बनाए बट गौतम गंभीर को इतना यकीन था कि ये खिलाड़ी बॉल कभी खाएगा नहीं जितने भी देर रन बनाएगा तेजी से रन बनाएगा तो कृष्णा इस पे क्या कमेंट है आपके कि सुनील नारायण देखो सुनील नारायण का एक जो जी कमेंट तो है कि सुनील नारायण को बोला गया है कि आप जाओ मारो कोई भी बॉल आए जो फास्ट बॉलर आए उसको मारो मतलब आप आउट भी हो जाओ चलेगा कोई बात नहीं लेकिन आप मारो तो वो ना क्या बोलते अंधा धूम मारते किधर भी मतलब इधर भी बॉल आए तो मारेंगे अगर शॉर्ट बॉल है तो भी मारेंगे अगर वो आप स्लो बॉल डालोगे तो भी मारेंगे वो तो पहला दो मैचेस में उन्होंने ये दिखाया बेंगलुरु के सामने डीसी के सामने कि वो आते हैं बॉल वो मारते हैं मतलब वो दिखते नहीं है कि तुम रबाडा डाल रहे हो तुम अर्शदीप डाल रहे हो वो वो अपना नेचुरल गेम के लिए अटैक करेंगे भले वो आउट हो जाए जीरो में भले वो दस रन बना के आउट हो जाए वो ऐसे ही खेलेंगे तो उनका ये अप्रोच देख के सब लोग शौक हो गए स्पेशली सी एस के फैंस क्योंकि सी एस के के सामने उनका अगला मैच है चेन्नई में तो ये अप्रोच देखे सब लोग शौक हो गए तो अप्रोच मतलब गंभीर आने से पहले नहीं था आपने सही बोला इन लोग गुरबाज से ओपनिंग करते थे फिर वेंकैया अयर को ओपनिंग करते थे वो बराबर चलता नहीं था अभी गुरबाज बेंच पर बैठा है तो यही है गंभीर आने के बाद बहुत कुछ चेंजेस हुए हैं अपने गुवंशी को भी देखा चच्ची पारी खेली उन्होंने फिर फिर आपने देखा फिर वेंकी को नहीं भेजा इन्होंने सीधा रसल को भेज दिया जो मालूम था कि एक ही विकेट खोए है तब उन्होंने रसल को भेज दिया फिर यंगुवंशी जो नए प्रोस्पेक्ट है उनको अप्लाई किया तो वही गंभीर के सब टैक्टिक्स है गंभीर करता है ये सब वो चंद्रकांत पंडित नहीं करते है सब वो करता है इसके लिए आप देखो तो एल में भी गंभीर ने एल को प्ले में लेके गया था तो मुझे भी लगता है हंड्रेड परसेंट के ग्यारह भी क्वालिफाई होगी प्ले में क्योंकि उनके होम मैचेस बहुत जीत सकते हैं वो होम मैचेस और ये परफॉर्मेंस के साथ के के बहुत कॉन्फिडेंस में रहेगी और चेन्नई जाएंगी और चेन्नई के बाद फिर उनका सब होम गेम्स ही है कुनाल भाई तो वो लोग टॉप टू में नहीं तो टॉप फोर में डेफिनेटली क्वालिफाई हो गए और गंभीर आने के बाद तो गंभीर तो सब चेंजेस कर देता है नारीन का ऐसा ही यूटिलाइजेशन करते हैं बैट से क्योंकि आप देखो तो मिडल ऑर्डर में नारीन बहुत ही खराब खेल रहा था जल्दी आउट हो रहे थे और नारीन मिडल ऑर्डर में आ, सही नहीं है क्योंकि मिडल ऑर्डर में आपको एंकर की इनिंग्स की जरूरत है मिडल ऑर्डर में आपके पास रसल और रिंकू है तो नारीन की उधर कोई जरूरत नहीं है तो अच्छा कर अच्छा चीज किया गंभीर ने ओपन करवा के मेरे हिसाब से जी बिल्कुल और कृष्णा नारायण के साथ साथ हमें और भी प्लेयर्स की बात करनी पड़ी रघुवंशी हो गए साल्ट हो गए मतलब माइंडसेट इतना क्लियर था कि शुरू से हमें अटैक करना है हमें कुछ नहीं पूरा पिच का यूज करना है सबसे बड़ी बात कृष्णा जब मैंने पिच रिपोर्ट पढ़ी ना मैं समझ गया था कि आज बड़ा स्कोर बन सकता है इतना नहीं पता था कि ढाई क्रॉस हो जाएगा बट एक सौ इतना तो मान के चल रहा था क्योंकि पिच रिपोर्ट जैसी लग रही थी छोटा ग्राउंड आपका वहाँ पे ग्रास थोड़ी बहुत है बॉलर के लिए कुछ खास है नहीं तो वहां पे स्पिनर्स भी बिल्कुल नहीं आते आ, बहुत सारी बातचीत हुई देखिए डीसी की प्लेइंग इलेवन के लिए भी बातचीत हुई लोग कहेंगे कुलदीप यादव क्यों नहीं खेल रहे बट एक्चुअली जब हम लोग बातें करते हैं कृष्णा हम लोग पिच की बात करते हैं क्योंकि देखिये अल्टीमेटली कृष्णा आप भी इस बात से एग्री करोगे की मैच तो बाईस यार्ड की पिच पे ही खेली जाती है मैच सिर्फ रिकॉर्ड से नहीं खेले जाते आपको 22 यार्ड की पिच भी देखनी पड़ती है स्पिनर का एक ओवर आया कोलकाता नाइट राइडर्स के स्पिनर को विकेट मिला क्यों मिला क्योंकि रन्स बहुत ज्यादा थे प्रेशर में विकेट्स फेंके जा रहे थे ना कि विकेट्स लिए थे स्पिनर्स ने 
तो अल्टीमेटली मैं समझता हूँ डेली कैपिटल्स के लिए सबसे बेस्ट ने जो बॉलिंग की वो एकदम अच्छी थी स्टार एकदम अच्छे बॉलिंग कर रहे थे आज मतलब उन्होंने अच्छा हुआ लाइन तो और लेंथ उन्होंने ढूंढ लिया क्योंकि पिछले दो मैचेस में बहुत पिटाई कर रहे थे और आज उन्होंने दो की विकेट्स निकाले मार्श और वॉर्नर का तो वो भी अच्छी लाइन तो और लेंथ में डाले वैसे कृष्णा मेरे को ऐसा लग रहा है कि स्टार के लिए ना वेरी अर्ली टू से है क्यों पता हूँ देखियो क्या होता है ना जब आपका बड़ा स्कोर होता है ना तो बैट्समैन ना विकेट फेंकता है या फिर रन बनाता है दो ही काम होते हैं दोनों जगह से लेकिन तो, डीसी ने पता नहीं क्यों ने ट्राई किया मतलब टारगेट को कम करने का मतलब देखा आपने मुंबई इंडियंस वो लोग बॉल वन से अटैकिंग गए थे उन्होंने ये वो लोग ट्राई कर रहे थे चेस ग्राउंड करने का लेकिन हार्दिक पांड्या ने बॉल स्लो खेला इसलिए मुंबई इंडियंस हार गई वरना हार्दिक पांड्या कुछ फास्ट खेलते तो शायद वो भी चेस कर लेते सिर्फ थर्टी वन रन से हार गए तुम टू सेवेंटी सेवन बना के तो आज के के आर ने अच्छी बॉलिंग भी की अच्छा मतलब स्पेशली नारीन ने नारीन ने अच्छी बॉलिंग की नारीन तो स्पेशलिस्ट बॉलर है उनको तो पता है खास से बॉल डालने का और डीसी के पास इतने अटैकिंग बैट्समैन नहीं है सिर्फ दो ही है ऋषभ पंत और वॉर्नर यही दो अटैकिंग बैट्समैन से मेरे हिसाब से कुमार भाई अटैकिंग फ्रॉम द बोल वन दैट इज अ वेरी गुड अप्रोच इन टी ट्वेंटी two times you are crossing the highest score of 263 it shows that if you are in attacking approach you can dismiss any opponent any bowler uh yes absolutely and uh, the same gautam gambhir promoted sunil narain uh, as opener as a captain of the kolkata night riders team and had great success now as yeah. coach he has again promoted sunil narain to the top of the order and is having a uh, great success so it shows there is something about gautam gambhir's leadership that uh, is inspiring uh, sunil narain as uh, as an opener of the kkr team and he has done fantastic he actually absolutely um, you could say sunil narain all on his own he batted the uh, delhi capitals out of this match uh, match with his innings yeah okay uh, rahul can you give the answer of this comment he is saying why no kuldeep yadav pathetic selection of a team Tell me, Rahul. In this pitch, do you think Spinner has something in this pitch? Is there anything for Spinner today? No, uh, there is. Uh, there is really not much in the pitch for a spin bowler, I would say. But uh, you never know. In terms of the matchup of Kuldi Biada versus Sunil Narain, maybe Kuldi Biada might have had a chance uh, in that matchup. Might, of, uh, getting... might, but confirmation is very less. Confirmation is very confirmation less. might be. Uh, uh, it it might be, but. Uh, i would say he would have had a better chance than the players who uh, bowled to sunil narain today uh, of uh, getting sunil narain out a left arm uh, um what to say a left arm china man bowler bowling to a left arm left arm batsman uh, is a very good match up for the bowling team so uh, uh, selecting kuldeep yadav might have been useful uh, in uh, today's scenario Uh, I don't know why he got uh, left out. I think that is a big mistake on the part of Delhi Capitals. Ah, uh, one more problem was also there. Rahul actually same thing. Pant is also saying that uh, there was one DRS that he was taking a very last time and time was up. He was saying that there is something problem in his screen when uh, there was some edge with uh, Sunil Narayan at that time and Pant took it, but uh, time was over all of a sudden. So that was a miscommunication actually. actually pant knows uh, there absolutely. was absolutely and uh, what to say uh, there was such a loud edge it was not a faint edge or anything which you could not uh, hear you could clearly hear an edge i don't know how how did uh, rishabh pant as a wicket keeper not hear it how did uh, bowler not hear how come how is it that nobody heard uh, such a uh, very thick edge Uh, of uh, Sunil Narain had uh, they gotten Sunil Narain out? Yes, Sunil Narain had already given KKR a very good start at that point. But had uh, um, if they uh, had gotten uh, uh, reversed that decision, maybe they could have tried to come back into the match. Maybe KKR would not have gotten all the way to 
272 runs, maybe they would have uh, gotten less and uh, Delhi Capitals would have been in the match. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. Okay, but Rahul, overall, when we see the approach of this Delhi Capitals, I was really um, F, um, very angry with Rishabh Pant. Why you are coming at number five? Big thing is, uh, number three you are giving to Shaw, uh, Marsh. Number four you are giving to Coral. You are giving to Coral, it's okay. It means go and play attacking approach. But uh, I think Rahul, Pant is better, should come to play at number three. Don't you think after CSK match, no, maximum number of balls Pant will get, he will capitalize his score. Actually, he is a very good talent. Still. Uh, yes, uh, absolutely. Pant can uh, definitely, if he plays more balls, he can... Uh... Uh, maximize his score. I don't know why he didn't think of coming earlier, but he can't really come uh, uh, too much it's earlier. Different. I mean, he should come at number four at least. At least at number four, yeah. he should maybe uh, try to come out to bat. Now he's the informed batsman. You want your informed batsman coming much earlier in the match. Yeah, okay. Okay, Krishna, your views on Rishabh Pant, the, the way you see it means uh, when we talk about his T20 stats, everyone is talking about the strike rate. But today, finally, Pant step up and uh, hitting back-to-back -back sixes, first ball six, and uh, completely uh, dominating innings, you can say. But uh, at the end, uh, team win is important. But when we talk about the individual batting performance, how is that for Rishabh Pant today? Krishna? Individual uh, definitely should have scored runs because if you know KKR, uh, DC was struggling 33 for 4 then it seems that uh, DC would have lost more than uh, lost the match more than 150 runs if not stops and punt innings uh, if, uh, and punt attacking approach only saves DC and net run rate little bit otherwise uh, if you see DC's net run rate got uh, thrashed now because of that big loss, but still it is better that Pant and Stubbs innings played means both inning means both of them played match attacking approach because they know that uh, if you don't attack, if you play defensive, then uh, the uh, means the net uh, means this it will go much high and uh, you will get bundle out below 150. And Dishok Pant played means he played his attacking approach that. Uh, let's go attacking whether I get out or not. It doesn't matter. Let's try attacking approach. Um, that what he did. He played like Sunil Nari in innings. Play attacking approach uh, because the top order got dismantled early. So he had to uh, score because if he doesn't didn't score that, it would have been more embarrassing defeat for DC. Uh, I feel so. Which opened saved. The DC's net run rate little bit, I feel, and he played good innings. So we can say that he's come back to form. I feel he will score uh, good 50s in upcoming match, especially in Mumbai. So he's back to form. So he's ready. Kunal Bhai, he's ready. Don't worry, he's ready. Now we can say that he can be selected in wicket keeping list of World Cup. I feel I, he's doing good keeping also, but uh, today's captaincy was a little bit dull. Uh, I feel because uh, when the Narin goes attacking approach, you should have at least uh, placed good fielders actually and fielding was also pathetic of DC. Dropped 2-3 catches also, especially Warner dropped Sard catch, then Nokia dropped Narin catch when he was in 40s or 50s, that time he dropped that. So, this drop catch is also lot, hurts more. And in this IPL, there is a lot of drop catches. I don't know what the team is doing. They are dropping so many catches. Their fielding is pathetic. I don't know what's happening in this IPL. Okay. Okay, coming to Rahul. And Rahul, Kunal, in some, uh, some of the other matches, I am seeing that in some of every most of the every games, some players are dropping catches. I don't know what's their fielding, uh, what, what they are doing in fielding. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. So coming to Rahul, uh, Rahul comment on Rishabh Pant, back to back 50. As of now, top four in orange cap, tally also. So how you see the form now, Rishabh Pant, back to back 50, good strike rate. Yes, Rishabh Pant is in very, very good form, uh, in my opinion. Still going to be a very long road for him to get into the T20 World Cup. Yeah. Uh, he yeah, might get preferred over Jitesh Sharma and Sanju Samson now. 
uh, because of uh, his form and also his experience. But uh, will uh, will he get in ahead of KL Rahul is the big uh, uh, question because we know definitely course, KL Rahul. Rahul and... I think Rahul, KL Rahul is shit in T20. I think KL Rahul should go out. Oh, no, oh, there I, is no I chance hope... of KL Rahul, Rahul bhai. No chance. Mm. To be frank, right now Rishabh Pant is looking like a front runner after these two half centuries. Uh, I, I think that's what I think. KL Rahul, hopefully, you, see, you never know with these selectors. They might uh, go back to KL Rahul because they're idiots. They're stupid, <laughs> so they might. Uh, they might. Uh, they might because they are stupid. They might uh, choose. Uh, there is still a chance for KL Rahul if, in, with any sane selection committee, KL Rahul would not have a chance. Of making the T20 World Cup squad, but because we have a bunch of idiot selectors who are basically now uh, basing their selection off of uh, this IPL, and which is basically like uh, how we choose a Dream 11 fantasy team. Uh, that's how they are um, selecting T20 World Cup squad. But uh, jokes apart, jokes apart. I think Rishabh Pant is is and should be a Rahul, runner. For justify this statement. Squad. Rahul, justify this statement. KL Rahul is records, more than records uh, don't matter when you don't perform in the big tournaments, when you don't perform on the big stage. KL Rahul has failed as an opener in 2021 T20 World Cup. He has failed as an opener in 2022 T20 World Cup. Uh, so I think uh, he's done, uh, in, in my opinion. And uh, last year, although this is a different format, yes, ODI cricket is different. ODI World Cup final, he scored 66 of 107 balls uh, yeah. and hit only one boundary, which which I would uh, say single-handedly okay. killed criminal India's... Innings. Criminal innings. That is, criminal innings. Uh, uh, criminal innings, I might say terrorist innings, uh, absolutely, yeah. kill, uh, uh, absolutely killed uh, India's hope, single-handedly killed India's hopes of uh, winning the World Cup, which we had dominated for uh, one and a half months. Uh, so, with all these performances, I feel KL Rahul shouldn't be in T20 cricket anymore. Even um, in one-day cricket, there's an argument for him uh, to be dropped, uh, if you ask me. But um, T20 cricket, definitely not. Uh, and yeah. definitely not in this case uh, doesn't mean I'll play the next IPL. But definitely not means uh, he shouldn't uh, be in the T20 World Cup squad. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> So, as of now, Rahul, let's see who will be step up tomorrow is game with Punjab. So, let's see Jitesh will step up, then there will be some contender. But as of now, Rahul, Rishabh Pant is first as of now in all the keepers. With the strike rate. In all, in all the keepers. Top four. Now in a top uh, Yes, four. definitely. Uh, top four, no, no doubt that he always was. But now he's uh, top, uh, full stop, top. And that is... Uh, <laughs> Uh, where he is uh, right now. Hopefully, they will not uh, choose uh, K KL Rahul, but uh, I think right now Rishabh Pant is on top. Uh, I think he's a front runner. Rahul, I will be happy if Jitesh will go. Jitesh, Ishan Vishan, I will be happy. But, but yeah, of course, Rahul, you, no. you see, uh, for uh, in terms of the squad, you need to select more than one wicket keeper, obviously. So, but right now Rishabh Pant is in the top two. He can probably be in the playing 11 if he con continues in the best form during this uh, IPL. I think the second wicket keeper should be Jitesh uh, Sharma. Although Sanju I'm Samson, sure he me. has potential. Look, Sanju Samson looks very good in the IPL, but he hasn't uh, shown his uh, potential when he plays for uh, Team India. And that is a reason why I'll prefer Jitesh Sharma over Sanju Samson. Really, when it comes to the squad, I think it should be. Rishabh Pant and one among Jitesh Sharma and Sanju Samson, just you know, to have some experience there, uh, an experienced wicket keeper. Alok Jurel has not played a single T20 international, so I don't think Jurel is in a mind of Jasha. I don't think so. You will uh, not I, I don't think Dhruv Jurel will. Uh, uh, will be selected in the T20 World Cup squad. I'll be very uh, surprised if he is. Surprised. And, uh, very surprised. Yeah, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. But one of the one more moment of the match, Krishna, ball of the tournament, Ishan Sharma. Okay. 
Rahul, the ball of the tournament, the Ishan Sharma has bowled. What a bowling performance. Sunil, sorry, uh, Andre Russell was flat in the pitch after that ball. Fall down completely. It was, yeah, a great ball. Probably, probably one of the few good moments for uh, Delhi Capitals in this match because this is a match that uh, Delhi Capitals, I think, will the most likely want to forget. They'll want to put it behind him behind them if the match against uh, csk the win against csk was a very memorable win this is a match that they will want to forget and uh, put behind them very quickly now they are they're on uh, one win and three losses so uh, this defeat really uh, can be a blow, a blow to their confidence okay alok so, i think by so K -K K -K csk K -K next fixture is against csk so what you will say means uh, it will be it close match or will be a tight contest. Right. It'll very, be very. very it'll be. Uh, it'll be very interesting, in my opinion. I think that that's a match that can go either way because obviously CSK and uh, Chepok, you can never uh, uh, rule them out. But uh, KKR is looking very dangerous uh, right now with the their uh, batting order. And last year they they defeated CSK in Chepok in the Chepok Stadium. So, they will be very high on confidence. And uh, CSK, of course, has one more away match before that against Sunrisers Hyderabad. Uh, they're playing in, in Hyderabad. So, we have to see how that match uh, goes. Uh, and ideally, as a CSK fan, I uh, hope that CSK is chasing in that match and not uh, batting first because I think we're at greater risk of losing if we're batting first against uh, a KKR team with Sunil Narayan as an opener. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so Alok is asking, what is the role of Sumit Kumar in a team? I think Alok, uh, problem for Delhi Capital previous season was, they have very less batting, means after number five, there was no single batsman was there. Now they want to extend his batting. So extension in batting, they have provided Sumit Kumar a platform to go and play. But Sumit Kumar is not performing, but I think Delhi Capital Management will try one more time, Sumit Kumar. Who knows? He will perform. It depends. Yeah, definitely. He might uh, He might um, come and perform. We can. We don't, We don't. cannot uh, rule that out. Yeah, of course. Okay, guys. Now let's talk about the tomorrow game. That is the GT versus Punjab Kings. Rahul, not a good time for Punjab Kings if we talk about them. They win the single match against Delhi Capitals, but we all know about Rahul, how they win it. There was two drop catches of Sam Curran. Otherwise, they also lost that match, the way they played. Mm, yes, definitely. If uh, uh, they would have lost that uh, uh, match, if not for those uh, dropped catches. So uh, a lot, of, lots of work for uh, uh, Punjab to do to do as well uh, in terms of uh, getting back into this uh, uh, tournament. I think they desperately need a win tomorrow against Gujarat uh, Titan and Titans, and it's going to be tough uh, doing it away from home. So uh, we have to see what happens there. Yeah. Uh, yes, Alok uh, Raghuvanshi played really better. Means I like his one one sixes that was a uh, backside of the. Boundary, I like that. Uh, that was reverse. With what shot, I will say. But that he was played reverse at that time to the fast bowler. That was really great. Yeah, Raghuvansi, first game and 50. Well played. Okay. Rahul, uh, now coming yes, to Gujarat good. Titans. Captaincy-wise, Shubman Gill is looking quite good. Means According to Ashish Nehra, he's playing. Yeah, Shubman Gill is looking very good as a captain. And I think he's continuing on the good work from... Uh, Hardik Pandya's two years as Gujarat Titans captain very well, uh, and it's giving the team results. So there's nothing much to uh, to complain about over there. This is another home match for uh, Gujarat Titans, so hopefully they can keep um, the streak coming. They've won, they've won two out of two home games so far, so hopefully they will uh, continue and uh, make it a three out of three at home uh, over here and uh, make another significant stride towards uh, making the playoffs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cricket for you is saying uh, remove Poral in the team instead of giving chance to Dul or Kushagra in DC. Yeah. Yeah. I also agree with you. Means Kushagra, you are giving so much money to him, almost uh, two crores. 
so i think kushagra need some time and now time for kushagra to step up because we need some good middle order batsmen abhishek pural only one match he is performing the first game after that he was flop so let's see uh, choice is great actually from your side okay krishna coming to you um, what type of improvement you should see in punjab kings if we see their overseas uh, no place for sikandar raza and uh, chris wokes is also there so many overseas is there so what type of improvement you are thinking in punjab kings so that they will win the in last match also punjab kings dropped so many catches of lsg batsmen first that they should improve it because every time in post match presentation means after the match gets end shikhar the one says every time that we lost the match because we costed so many drop catches that all etc etc so i think the fielding should improve the drop catches should improve and ashdeep should bowl economical spell because he is the main bowler for india with bumrah in the t20 world cup so i think he should bowl economical spells i think uh, with rabada also not uh, bowling that well in the two t20 matches i have seen so i think they can give chance to nathan ellis i feel if rabada is not leaking runs so i think they can give ellis a chance because ellis has cutters if punjab is bowling first they should give ellis a chance if they are uh, defending the target then i think uh, still ellis should play because this rabada i know is a good bowler is a world class bowler but his form is i think is not that great he is leaking runs also and uh, batsmen are targeting him so i think they should try ellis because ellis was very good for punjab last season also if you so see so i think they should give ellis a chance and improve your fielding i think is known down good but their middle order is still problem of in last match also after the bash to and devan under partnership still couldn't win the match oh. their middle order has to step up it's high time especially this jitej is also not scoring runs uh, and it is high time he scores runs because the selectors are watching him for the t20 world cup selection as well so i think he should have, he, he should score runs i think jitej sharma uh, and livingston also is good performer he did well in the last match in against lagno also he bowled the runs down but couldn't finish the game so i think their middle order has to step up i feel okay coming to you rahul how important for jitesh now means um, very less chances remaining means very few matches uh, team is going to be selected in the last week of april so what will be the better place for you if i am asking you so what will be the better place for jitesh to come in form and play at that place number 4 or 5 uh, to be frank uh, we have to uh, consider uh, where uh, the wicket keeper is going to play during the t20 um, world cup i know rishabh pant right now we're talking about him playing a number 4 or number 5 uh, but we need uh, some players who will do well at number 6 or number 7 as well so we need um, jitesh uh, sharma to perform at whatever position he's given given the punjab t- uh, kings lineup it's a uh, hard he can only bat uh, so far up number the order four. a player number 4 uh i don't think no if number 4 is uh, possible for jitesh sharma in this lineup i would say number 6 uh, is the best uh, highest possible that he can uh, bat and um, that's likely the position where he's going to bat in the t20 world cup so we have to uh, um uh, consider that we also have to uh, look at the criteria we're judging we're not looking for him to score half century or century or anything within um, 10 balls that he faces he should have an impact uh, yeah impact scored, he that should is have missing. an impact where he's, he needs to be able in if he faces 10 balls he needs to be able to make 25 to 30 runs uh, for the team that's what is uh, expected of uh, jitesh sharma uh, if we're looking at selection for t20 uh, world cup so more more than where he bats it's about what impact he has within a very short period Uh, that he bats because we're not looking for him to grind out to build an innings or anything we're looking for him to have an impact where he's able to um, score score quick runs even if he bats for a very short period so that's what uh, we have to consider over here and he has to start doing it uh, in the coming matches if he wants to be 
uh, selected for the T20 World Cup because Sanju Samson is batting higher up the order and he has more uh, time to prove himself. He has um, more opportunities. Jitesh Sharma now, will not always get chances. And now Rishabh Pant also. Today he was really great. I think at 9 balls he made 23 or 25 today. Yeah, he got out to a very uh, quick start. And I think that's something Jitesh Sharma will have to do. Yeah, of course. So, let's see how things will go on. But on the other hand, Rahul, what excellent captaincy from Shubman Gill, the way he utilizes, the way he uses the bowler. In previous game, we have seen uh, Noor Ahmed and Rashid Khan, the utilization of both the player. That was really excellent from him. So, how you see his captaincy along with the uh, guidance of Ashish Nair? Yeah, Gil's uh, captaincy has been very good. He's been get, uh, using Ashish Neda very well for uh, uh, his uh, for guiding him in the captaincy. And uh, he has made uh, good bowling changes uh, as and when needed. Uh, and uh, batting also, he's done a fairly decent uh, uh, job, at least in the few games that he played in Ahmedabad, trying to score as uh, quickly as possible and you know setting the tone up front. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, so let's see how things will go on. But Rahul, uh, one problem I have seen in Gujarat Titans also, means in middle order, means Azmatullah Umarzai, means uh, sometimes he is performing, sometimes he is not performing. Don't you think Rahul at some extent, means uh, when Noor Ahmed and Rashid Khan is playing, in middle order you need Kane Williamson, so that uh, uh, when the wickets was fallen down, suddenly there must be someone like... Uh, I think Kane Williamson is like a Virat Kohli. He can stand tall in the crease and take the match longer as much as he can. Kane Williamson can definitely um, stem the flow of wickets uh, for sure. But uh, I think the big question mark around Kane Williamson is can he accelerate like Virat Kohli at the death overs if the required rate is climbing up? I think there are still doubts over that. We've seen Virat Kohli over the years finish a lot of matches uh, even when the required rate is uh, climbing up and he's capable of accelerating, accelerating his score later on. I'm not sure Kane Williamson has the same capability as uh, Virat Kohli in this regard. Uh, and um, given what the team is looking for, I don't think they really want a grinder like um, uh, KL Rahul in their team. And they have uh, much more dangerous overseas players compared to Kane Williamson. So... It's going to be very hard for Williamson to get a find a place in uh, Gujarat Titans. Yeah, in in spite of injuries, if there is injury, then Kane Williamson has to play. Mm, yes, absolutely. That that's going to be the scenario. But overall, if you see man to man marking Rahul home advantage for GT, and uh, Shubman Gill loves the ground. Sai Sudarshan plays really well, but there is a strike rate issue is also there. So Rahul, how you, what you will advise to Sai Sudarshan means the way he playing. Sometimes his strike rate will be the issue for the team at some stage when target will be big. Yeah, so Sai Sudarshan will have to um, score at a much faster pace, being a number three um, batsman. Yes, he can when he gets going, he can be. Uh, dangerous, but maybe yes, he is playing taking a little too long to settle down. He got away with it the other day against SRH because target was only 163. But uh, if target is uh, more than that, then those kind of innings won't be acceptable. Yeah, yeah, of course. So let's see how things will go on. So Rahul, at last uh, prediction time, how much percentage to GT? Because I think Punjab Kings' chances is quite less. I think so. It's going to be very tough for uh, Punjab Kings. I would give uh, Gujarat Titans a uh, 75% chance of winning this match. I, I think they yeah. are firm favourites. Yeah, yeah, same here. 75% because of home advantage. They are bowling. Spencer Johnson, Rashid Khan, Noor Ahmed, Umesh Yadav, Mohit Sharma. Rahul, I like Mohit Sharma. Means the way he is bowling, his cutters, his knuckle bowling, everything I like it. You can use him in death. You can use him in power play also. Using in middle over also. The way he is bowling. In fact, CSK uses him at once. Uh, I think it was a time of 2010 or 2011. Along with Ashwin. Mohit Sharma was there. 
Uh, yes, definitely. Mohit Sharma has been doing very well for uh, uh, Gujarat Titans as well, except for last two balls of last year's IPL where he gave a six and a four. But uh, other than that, he's been very good uh, in the IPL. Many people are discussing the possibilities of him even uh, playing the T20 World Cup. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, let's see. But Rahul, it is early call to say about Mohit to play T20 World Cup. But uh, yeah, he's he's a good player, and there might be something in ODI. Maybe I don't know. Means in future you can take him in ODI. He's a good. Uh, probably, probably you can. Although age is not really on his side, and with the selectors looking, you know, for the future, I don't think no if Mohit Sharma is really on the radar of the selector of the selectors that is that is a thing yeah of course so let's see how things will goes on and uh, hope for a good game and uh, rahul uh, one more thing do you think uh, at some stage in t20 we will see the score of 300 is it possible eventually it's oh, oh it's definitely possible i think we will definitely see it at some point we've already seen 277 272 uh, now so at some point there might be a score of 300 uh, although i still think 300 in t20 is going to be very rare because you know you know to maintain a run rate of 15 runs per over for 20 overs is not uh, that easy even 200 only, is uh, only yeah, nepal even, has that record nepal has made it in gold medal game means asian games of course in asian games on small boundaries you can probably make the score of 300 it's easier but when you have a, a fairly big ground uh it's going to be very hard to make a score like 300 that's going it's going to take a lot of work so i think eventually 300 can be made uh but it's going to be still be very rare a very rare sight yeah of course so guys let's see how things will goes on and uh i hope guys you are enjoying ipl or Along with that, and uh, World Cup selection is also there. So many discussion is there. So just guys, subscribe KFCS and Sports Breakdown, and see you tomorrow. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you, everyone, for Thank your you. questions, and hope for a game like that we have seen today, reigning success. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So guys, bye bye. Good night.